Welcome back to another InGaff filmmaking tutorial. And yes, I know you're here because the title said free. So not to disappoint, here is another filmmaking freebie. The Ken Burns Effect presets for Premiere Pro. In my one man mission to bankrupt Pete, on top of giving away all of the filmmaking gear that he buys to review, I'm continuing to make these filmmaking presets, these free downloads, presets, and templates to help you, my fellow cheapskate filmmakers. This week's preset is a set of fake camera movements known as the Ken Burns effect. This is very simply the process of creating the illusion of camera movement in your still images to add a level of, well, dynamics when using JPEGs in your videos. In truth, this is a fairly simple effect to achieve, but I know you're here because you're like Pete and lazy at heart. So this preset will do all the heavy lifting for you. So first up, make sure you've got the preset downloaded from our website. It is totally free, but be sure you sign up to the email newsletter so I can fill your inbox full of watermelon spam. Not really, it'll be loads more freebies and filmmaking presets like this and the occasional picture of Pete's face. Your unzipped folder will contain one Premiere Pro preset file. You can put this somewhere safe if you wish on your computer. Heading over to Premiere Pro, you'll need to import these effects. This is done in the effect bin. Right click, import preset, and select the downloaded preset file. This will then import a folder filled to the brim with movement options. They're all clearly labeled because I'm nice like that, but if you're unsure, just drag and drop them onto an image file to see how it looks. The one thing I really love about these presets that I've made is that they're all called variable length. And all this means is that the length of the effect will be bound to the length of your clip. So as I say, if you extend the length of your clip and then drop your preset onto it, the length of that movement will just match up to the length of the clip. And it's as simple as that, a really simplistic faked camera movement made even easier by this free download. Of course, there are some links below. If you want to download this preset, be sure to go down there and check that out. And whilst you're there, maybe give the video a thumbs up or even consider subscribing to the channel. I should be dropping one of these tutorials roughly every week until Pete goes bankrupt. So that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>